Your monthly subscription box from PostFlyBox.com includes all the materials needed to tie a dozen flies, along with some extra goodies. The deep minnow tanchovy is sparsely tied to represent any number of slender baitfish species. The dumbbell eyes help the fly to sink quickly and give it an enticing jiggy motion when retrieved. It's a fly that works just about everywhere. The tanchovy starts with a number two super strong forged hook. Begin by getting the hook firmly secured in the jaws of your tying vise. Then load a bobbin with the spool of pink unithread. Get the thread started on the hook shank behind the eye and after taking a few wraps rearward, snip off the excess tag. Continue taking thread wraps to build up a short little thread base, then end with your tying thread about two eye lengths back from the back edge of the hook eye. Pick up a set of presentation eyes and lay them on top of the hook shank directly above your tying thread. Take cross wraps to begin securing the eyes perpendicular to the hook shank. After a few cross wraps, Take a complete wrap around the shank and begin making yoke wraps, which go over top of the eyes but underneath the hook shank on either side. After these, take another complete wrap around the shank, then make flat wraps beneath the eyes but above the shank to draw all the previous wraps in and really lock the eyes in place. End with your tying thread at the back edge of the eyes. For the body of the fly, snip two strands of pearl flashaboo free from the hank. Lay one end of the strands against the near side of the hook and take a few thread wraps to lightly secure them. Pull the strands beneath the wraps to shorten the tag end. Continue taking thread wraps rearward, binding the flashaboo to the near side of the hook as you go. When your thread hangs at about the hook point, start taking wraps with the flashaboo strands behind your tying thread. Lifting the thread on each wrap will help to keep the flashaboo strands situated one on top of the other. At the back edge of the eyes, anchor the flashaboo with tight wraps of tying thread and snip the excess off close. Advance your tying thread forward to in front of the eyes. Snip four strands of flashaboo free from the hank and find their approximate midpoint. Place that midpoint against the near side of the hook and take thread wraps to secure it, first in front of the eyes, then immediately behind them. Pull the forward pointing portion of the flashaboo back and anchor it behind the eyes with thread wraps. The idea is to have four strands of flashaboo running down either side of the hook shank. End with your tying thread in front of the eyes. To make tie-in of the rest of the materials easier, flip the fly over in your tying vise, like so. Snip a small clump of white craft fur, free, down close to the backing. Strip out the lower shorter fibers from the butt ends and snip those butt ends off square. Place the ends on top of the hook shank above your tying thread and take nice tight wraps to secure them. End with the thread immediately in front of the eyes and get the fur separated evenly on either side of the hook bend. Repeat the procedure, this time with a similar sized clump of pink craft fur. Here too, it's a good idea to snip the butt ends off square prior to tie-in. Angle the fur down slightly as you take wraps to tie it in. This will help to ease the transition down to the hook shank, which will result in a smoother head on the fly. Separate the pink fur to either side of the hook as well. Tan craft fur is tied in last, in the same manner as the previous two clumps. Once the tan fur is really locked down, go back over the entire head area with wraps of tying thread to cover up the craft fur below. Reach for your whip finish tool and use it to do a five or six turn back to front whip finish, seat the knot well, and snip your tying thread free. A drop of head cement applied to the exposed thread wraps will ensure they don't come unraveled and that the craft fur won't pull free. Check to confirm that all three layers of fur are separated equally on either side of the hook. If there are any overly long ends of craft fur or flashaboo, trim them off. And that's the deep minnow tanchovy. In general, the sparser the pattern is, the better it performs.